Hi and welcome Aquarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your March 2020 Tarot Forecast. Now this is the brand new version that is the extended version. Uh, I did put an announcement out on my channel this week and uh, it's going to be like getting a personal reading for me. It's going to cover all aspects of self and consolidating all of the uh, smaller tarot readings into one big monthly one for you. And it's going to have a look at predictions for March 2020, your abundance flow, love and romance. We dive deep into general energies and lots of high guidance in terms of crowning energies. Yeah. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button so you get notified of the uh, videos coming out on my channel. And uh, if you regularly follow my channel, part of the announcement was is that YouTube have changed some of their algorithms. So if you haven't subscribed, but you like watching my videos, they may not be showing up in your feed because of how they're changing your personalization, personalization what shows up for you, yeah? So best idea is to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification, bell as well to make sure that you receive these brand new extended ones every month from me. All right, let's get started with your reading. We've got lots of uh, crystals on every deck to amp things up. And as always, it is still a general reading. So trust what resonates and just leave what does not. Yeah. All right, let's put you some guidance from an opening energy from the Enchanted Map Oracle. You may also like to come back during the month um, and find that it actually applies to you depending on the energies going on for you at the time. And I think I said, this is the Enchanted Map Oracle, yeah? All right. What is it Aquarius needs to know about this time? Flying out. Okay. Right, you've got the spirit of place, which is all about uh, living with integrity and authenticity. Mm -hmm. It says... Aquarius, authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believed that every place has a spirit looking after it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, the trees, the birds and mountains and rivers all have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says the answer to your question is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Your question is about a struggle. The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your authenticity. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna dive straight into predictions for March, 2020. And we're going to be using the Angel Tarot. Let's see what's coming towards you, Aquarius. So it wants to come out. Mm. You've got uh, Archangel Michael. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are suddenly going to shift forward. Uh, good luck is on your side. It'll be a powerful, positive shift forward. So... Um, definitely speaks to your flow of things being stuck. They're about to become unstuck. Yeah. It's kind of like all the obstacles and blocks being lifted off your path. Mm. You got the six of earth. And if you have a look at this, there's a lot of balance of scales here. A little fairy dropping coins into each one. Um, gifts of money for your time, the effort, possibly paying off debts, receiving a loan in March. Mm, wow. Different cards, same message, Ten of Air. The end of a difficult situation. Expect things to get better now. Mm -hmm. You've also got the Eight of Earth, which is all about your uh, skilled work being rewarded, possibly wanting to go back and study, do something more challenging. So there's quite a lot here about the uh, effort that you're making is going to... Um, bring in your abundance flow, yeah, or improve your abundance flow, being recognized for your hard, your hard work, your quality work, yeah, but also that in any blockages and challenges are all shifting forward now to a more positive change in your life. It's beautiful. You got the three of fire. It's a great big dragon sitting next to this girl, yeah. 
abundance, things are looking up, make long-term positive plans. How awesome. Mm. You've also got the nine of five, which is saying don't give up. Keep moving forward. Have courage and faith in yourself. Stand up for yourself and protect yourself if you need to. Particularly your path, your ideas. Um, it's kind of a portent too. You are on the right path and shifting forward. All right, let's have a look at your abundance flow. See if there's anything holding you back from your abundance with the abundance angel oracle. Hmm. You've got it's time to take some quiet time out for self, quiet retreat, stillness, um, go within, particularly if there's anything challenging you, um, to find the answers you seek, yeah? Also about your next steps, and hello, absolute confirmation that you've got a raise or promotion coming for your hard work, all your hard effort paying off, yeah? So directly under gifts for time and your time and your effort. Hmm. This is interesting. This came out when I was shuffling here. Yeah? The time to start clearing your debts. Um, it may be that you've got extra money coming in to do so. It's also about focusing on your finances and clearing those debts so you feel more financially stable and secure. Um, you've also got putting some savings aside for your future. Yeah, just to give you that buffer, that safety net. Um, mm hmm Particularly those of you that want to branch off with your own ideas. Yeah, have that bit of savings behind you. Okay, let's have a look at love and romance with the Romance Angel Oracle. This is for couples and singles. Mm. You've got stay optimistic and positive about your love life. That positivity is going to draw romance to you, particularly the singles out there. And uh, definitely... A need to make an effort in love. Yeah, great love's worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So don't expect love to drop in your lap, the universe is saying. Singles, you need to get out there, get flirty, get on the dating scene. If you're looking for love, couples coupled up. It's about making that effort in the partnership. Um, yeah, I mean, your first opening energy was be the love you want to embody in your relationship. So are you giving as much as you're trying to receive? Are you applying conditional love to relationships or unconditional love? What does that mean? Is that if your expectations aren't met, you withdraw your love. Watch that energy. Uh, you've also got attraction here, which is all about being present in the moment, enjoying things, relaxing into it. Don't put expectations on outcomes. Um, just go with the flow, particularly related to love. Hmm. It's also safe for your love, open your heart up to love, uh, whether you're single or coupled up. Don't let the past define the, the present or the future, yeah? And put walls up around your heart. Mm. You've also got a honeymoon here. So some of you may be planning a holiday time together, some couple time together. Um, great suggestion in, um, in terms of building that bond definitely on the horizon it's also sitting under your abundance by the way so part of your abundance can be taking a trip together mm, yeah goes hand in hand with it safe your love there's some forgiving and learning to do so as you release and heal from the past you experience more love in the present moment um just about releasing old stuff from the past let it go aquarius let it go Learn what you need to learn from it, but let it go. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle. Can be about love, can be about your abundance. Let's see what comes out. Mm. You got the message that there's no need to worry, particularly those on the dating scene looking for love. Just stay optimistic. Definitely opportunities out there for you. Um, You've got to ask for help from others. This is directly related to your raise and your promotion, your gifts for time and money, yeah? Um, it can mean that at work, if you're in a nine to five, you might need to delegate a bit more or in your own business if you're in part of a team. It can also mean asking spirit for what you want, yeah? Particularly around your abundance, your coin. Oh, yeah. Right next to that, you've got an opportunity coming in. Money dropping from heaven. Specifically going to help you clear your debts, yeah? 
directly related to that. I mean, it's your second um, message in terms of abundance coming in. Actually, your third. <laughs> Just a great big plate, yes. Confirmation from the universe. Um, she's got her hands full, by the way. Um, it's directly related to, it's safe you love, to put some savings aside, yeah? Um, if you're thinking about studying something different, universe is saying, big fat yes. Mm. And uh, you've got meditation may provide you with the answers you seek. If there's anything that you need to understand about self, go within. Um, anything related to your abundance, could be worth doing some abundance manifestations. Mm. And you've got choose a new direction, which is directly related to letting go of the past, yeah? Moving forward in a new way, um, either as a couple or you personally. All right, we're going to clear these away and dive straight into general energies. So we're going to pull you a central energy from the Precious Gems Oracle. See what you need to know, Aquarius, in March. Highest level guidance. Mm, this is gorgeous. You've got the Dalmatian stone, yeah? It's all about your inner child. Number 10, which can represent completions. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Aquarius, shake off your limits like water from a dappled coat. Shake and feel the false and the feared fly to the wind. Bound after trust, joy and freedom, and obstacles fall behind. I chase only one prize and loyally I lay it at your feet. You might turn it away, but the truth will return. It is my delight to bring it back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, directly related to your solar plexus, by the way, in the element of earth. It is a e playful and exuberant energy that connects you to the child within, helps break down any internal barriers to help you see the joy in life and uh, also has the ability to reprogram stale and outdated ways of thinking so you can see things with fresh insight and uh, can help you find trust and have faith again. Mm -hmm. It's very grounding and helps steer you away from disillusionment while helping you relax and see the fun side of things. Sounds like just the thing you need, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. It's all about investing in happiness and joy, yeah? And it does say a bond is strengthened through laughter and play. Dare I say relates probably likely to your love life. All right, there's an affirmation here that says, I am joyous and open to fun. I allow my inner child to express itself. I am free to enjoy the present. The world is a wondrous play. That's all about shifting your uh, mental and emotional energy, yeah? All right, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Obstacles, challenges, opportunities, things about self you need to work on in March. Let's see what comes out, Aquarius. Then we're going to pull lots of clarifiers. Oh, flying across the room. Mm. You've got illumination here, which means that you're going to get more insight about your path, anything holding you stuck. Um, it's also about new beginnings and transformation. You have a look, she's dressed like a butterfly. She's got a butterfly stamped on her back as a tattoo. She's riding a butterfly, yeah? Mm -hmm. Definitely pretends to positive change coming. Mm, this is gorgeous. It's going to be a renewal of peace in your world. Have a look at that. Very quiet, still, harmonious. What else does Aquarius need to know? Highest level guidance, please. Mm, wow. There's so much here about you getting clarity. You've also got clear endeavour, which is directly speaks to your life path, yeah, your career, the next steps to take. Mm. 
and a need to pause and catch your breath. Second message about that, yeah? That quiet time for self. Another big butterfly sitting on there, massive butterfly. Let me show it to you. <laughs> it's like right behind her. Have a look at the size of that butterfly. Mm -hmm. All about brand new beginnings, Aquarius. All right, let's pull you some... Uh, clarifies with the energy oracle so first up we're having a look at illumination what is it Aquarius needs to know flying out mm. you got the thinking man here so it can be someone you're relating to but guy or girl it means stepping more into your masculine energy and out of your emotions yeah your empowerment two others here mm. You've got healer of the ages here. So a couple of meanings. The fact it's come out with illumination, you may be getting some insights into your path, being one as a spiritual teacher, healer, natural therapies. It can mean seeking out a healer of the ages. Um, whatever aspect that applies to, whether it's transformation or whether it's around love, because you've got the door to romance opening as well that wants to open for you to let love in. Let's pull you one more. Mm. and you got some indecision here do I go left or do I go right that's why there's so much here about getting clarity yeah all right let's have a look at renewal of peace mm. there's absolutely a need for you to take action um however when I say that, first of all, you've got to take that time, quiet time to pause, reflect, get your path illuminated and then move forward, Jing. It's not about rushing in. Mm. For some of you, there's still attachments um, related to love in your heart chakra, the need to release. It's going to bring you peace. No doubt, no doubt why the healer of the ages is there. Okay. Because you've also got hostilities here. So there may be some, I'm pretty sure this came up for you last month, right? Uh, there may be an ex-lover you need to release and put boundaries in place with. Um, it's also creating some uncertainty in your life Uncertainty in your life because it's sitting under indecision, yeah, right next to attachment. I will pull you some clarifiers on that. Let's have a look at clear endeavour. Hmm. You got your sacral chakra here. So if you are feeling stuck, there's things within self around your emotions that you need to tackle and release and deal with, yeah? That's preventing you at this point from moving forward. Mm. When you do that, you're going to have victory. Let me tell you what this is related to. It's related to releasing those emotions, seeking a healer of the ages if you need to, and take an action yeah you'll have victory in your life you'll, it'll help you momentum for you to move forward find clear path mm. when you release the attachment the angel of love is here waiting to allow let love into your life to help you with those connections with a love partner directly related to the door opening to love as well as the attachment yeah you got your heart chakra here. Dare I say there needs to be some a little bit of heart healing, letting the walls down, releasing old stuff, um, sorting out people that are hostile that you need to sort out from the past. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at catch your breath. Mm. It's going to help you build up your strength. Yeah. Get your the groundedness, your centeredness back. It's also about relying on your strength. Hmm. It's also going to open you up to trusting your intuition, getting more insight. Mm, wow, it's going to help you bring cornucopia into your life. What is this? Success on every level. Um, your hope, your happiness, your joy, your well-being, love in your relationships or love in your life, abundance, yeah? You need to take that quiet time for yourself. All right, I want to pull you a clarifier around the attachment and the hostilities. Key guidance for Aquarius at this time. Mm, okay. It can be about money. And dare I say it's going to be related to, for some of you, it's going to be related to separating from an ex, 
settlement with an ex. Um, it may be holding you stuck from moving forward in love. Um, girls, it can be you're waiting on the settlement coming in in terms of it bringing in more coin. Um, overarching for those of you that it doesn't affect in terms of an ex-partner is an indication that your coin is going to improve, yeah? Alright, let's put you some guidance with the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at the top row, all about illumination, getting out of your emotions, your indecision, your daughter romance opening. Mm, there's two here. Oh, yeah. This was actually under the other one. Yeah, is all undying love. Just know the love you shared was not wasted, it was received. So if you're coming out of a relationship that didn't work, it's a little bit hostile. You didn't waste your time. If you've beaten yourself up about that, universe is saying don't. Um, if someone's passed over, just know that the love was received. Yeah. Um, and you've got Mary Magdalene. Unconditional love, treating yourself and others with kindness and compassion, applying forgiveness to situations. Try and see the other person's point of view, but don't get stuck in their energy. Yeah. And this is directly related to renewal of peace in your world. Um, the hostility is going on is to take some time whenever you're feeling out of thoughts, if it's affecting your energy, your emotions, it's time for self, yeah, to recenter and balance yourself. Mm, again, same line. There is going to be a renewal of peace in you else, so stop worrying, universe is saying, stop worrying. All right, let's have a look at clear endeavour, your victory. Your heart chakra, the angel of love. Mm. You've got vast independence. Your independence is an integral part of who you are. Do not apologize for it. It's one of your strengths. Yeah? Guy or girl, one of your strengths. Mm. You got Freya, be bold, take risks, be daring, go after what it is you want. Directly related to your life path, directly related to love. All right, let's have a look at catch and pause your breath, your cornucopia. Your strength, your intuition. Mm. You got Sedna, infinite supply. This is divine protection. Yeah, your emotional needs, your material needs are going to be met for today and all of your tomorrows, so stop worrying. Mm -hmm. There's two here. Back there's three. Okay. You've got green Tara, start delegating, asking others for help, stop doing everything yourself, whether that's at work or at home. Um, you've also got Sarasvati, the arts. So engaging in um, either musical pursuits, creative pursuits is going to be very soothing for you um, in terms of releasing anything you need to release. And you've also got a star of fertility. Yeah, perfect time to kick off any ideas, projects you've got. Um, can be directly related, both of those to uh, your cornucopia coming in in terms of your creativity. All right, let's put you some guidance with the crystal reading deck, which is a healing deck. We'll have a look at this top row about uh, get more clarity, your illumination. Mm. You've got clear quartz purification. So it speaks directly to releasing Negative emotions, your mindset, what's going on there. It can also relate to your health and well-being, your nutrition, your diet, your exercise, um, recycling through the past. Because you've also got is all undying love there. Mm. And uh, you've got Herkimer Diamond, listen to your dreams. You may get subliminal messages from your higher states of consciousness, your subconscious, also spirit, yeah, and help you with your path. Okay, let's have a look at the renewal of peace coming into your world. <laughs> mm, again, you've got the message to apply compassion to those people who are being hostile as well as yourself. Mm, this blew out. Two of them. Yeah, okay. you got pink tourmaline and forgiveness. So there is the opportunity to apply forgiveness to a situation, whether you need to ask for it or someone needs to ask it from you. It can just mean energetically cutting the cords and ties to yourself from this energy or from the past and letting the situation go, yeah? Mm -hmm. When you do that, 
you're absolutely going to shine. All right, let's have a look at clear endeavor, your victory, your heart. Oh, fine now. Uh, you got spirit quartz here, music. It's going to be very soothing for you. I'll link in the guided meditation playlist. It's about 78 in there now. Um, pick whatever resonates with you. Um, I think around your heart chakra ones would be really good. There's quite a few of those in there. There's also, if you scroll right down to the bottom, there's three or four new ones I've put in there about surrendering and letting go. They're very beautiful. Um, all you need to do with those is be laying down, quietly resting, comfortable, warm. Ideally, play them through a speaker so you can get the binaural beats of sound therapy. Just for that, as hard as it is. Mm -hmm. Fall asleep, it's totally fine. This is directly related to clear endeavor. Yeah, you're absolutely going to get more clarity about your life path, your life purpose. Amazonite. And there's a need for you to step into your, power, your empowerment or you're going to feel more empowered this month coming in yeah, March. Beautiful energies. All right, let's have a look at Catch Your Breath, your cornucopia. Mm, definitely a double message for you to relax and take some time out for self. Mm, again, another message. You're divinely protected at this time. Black tourmaline. Spirit is watching over you. All right, let's pull you some uh, guidance from the Messenger Oracle. What is it the Aquarius needs to know in March 2020? Mm, it's two here. Yeah, absolutely. Right through your reading, yes, yeah, to know your power, step into your power. Um, this is about when the horse comes out, right? It's about not letting others. Are you going to choose to let others ride on your back or are you going to be in the saddle? Yeah, it's about stepping into your empowerment, not getting pushed around by others. Um, again, you've got love without condition. Be compassionate, be loving, be in your best self. Don't let others' energies upset you. Yeah. Mm. You've also got to share your thoughts, which can be particularly around your life path, life purpose, any ideas, things you've got that you want to bring out to the world, share them with the people that you trust, not your naysayers, yeah? When you share those, it means that you put an energy behind them that makes them more real. Mm. There's a need for you to be really patient, yeah, in March. all going to sort itself out. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. Very much about being present. Mm. This is kind of super interesting. I think this came out for Aries as well. Or it could have been cancer, actually. I can't remember either one of those. Um, you've got the Sacred Fool. It has the most beautiful message on it. Um, she's holding a marionette, a puppet in her hands, yeah. Let's pull you up the guidance. And if it's the first time you've watched one of my readings, the crowning energy can literally bring the whole reading together. So don't disappear just yet. It says Aquarius, the fool is a great rebel, able to thwart convention and tell the truth without restraint. Your heart is a wonderful, powerful, sacred fool it cares not for the right way to do things. It cares not for what the mind says is real and not real. It lives according to an inner wisdom that cannot be dictated to or controlled by anything. It loves, it lives, and it is what it is. So this oracle heralds a time now or imminent where you will feel inspired, alive, and passionate for what you can offer to the world. And it says to you, don't try to be appropriate, don't try to be socially acceptable and worry about what others may think about what you're doing, just be. And uh, if you wanna wear a mad hat at the same time whilst doing so, fine. The sacred fool in you is willing to leave behind what has been because it no longer feels right to stay attached to it. The sacred fool in you trusts in life completely. It would never occur to this part of you to try and outsmart life or resist its flow. It recognises that the mind is a monkey puppet on strings. More often than not, it's cajoled into fear when it could be playfully dwelling in the radical spontaneity of life. So the sacred fool urges your mind to 
Let itself be pulled by the joy in your heartstrings, not by the fear and doubt by controlling machines of mass media. And this oracle brings you a message. It's time for you to play. It's time for you to let life happen in a completely unreserved, unscripted way. The more bizarre, left of field, unexpected or apparently ridiculous, the better. And this might not feel safe or appropriate at first, and that's okay. It's actually good. It's a sign you're breaking away from your own self-imposed conventions. The time to move beyond them now because a bigger life adventure is calling to you. It is the desire of life to operate more radically through you so that you can become a conduit through which miracles and crazy wild synchronicities can occur. You are becoming more electric. You're more plugged into the apparent randomness of life. Apparent because there is a refined intelligence behind it all. The sacred fool goes along with this without having to understand any of it, which is good because trying to get even one genuine glimpse of life's unfathomable genius would probably make one's head explode. And as you take this journey, you may find the people around you are challenged. You might unintentionally cause them to rethink the way they live their own lives. They may question whether the way they're living is the only way for them or the best way. And at first they may react instead of taking responsibility. The sacred fool in you does not engage with this. It is what it is and it rises and falls as it will. It doesn't stop you from your merry dance of unconventional living. And if you find yourself making choices that have others questioning your sanity, you're on the right course. You may feel that you're quite possibly going insane, but you are not crazy. You are just approaching enlightened awareness. And there is a moment, sometimes a long one, where we wake up to life, we shed our attachments to mass opinion and float in a completely different state of being. And we might find that no one is really able to understand or connect with us to the point we question our state of mind. Stay with that, it will pass. You will eventually see that you're becoming sane in an insane world. The tables will turn and you will gain great inner freedom and creative juice. So stay on your path, stay on your journey. Remember that to take nothing too seriously and it will all work out perfectly. Oh, such beautiful guidance. Um, there's a very brief healing ritual here which says, uh, there's an affirmation here, it says say, but just listen here. Yeah? I call on the sacred fall of unconditional love. Please help me access your lightness of spirit, your wisdom and your ability to exist in the heart of truth, to be powerful without becoming attached to or obsessed by power. I honor your vision. May I see and know so truly and be free. I choose of my own free will to give myself absolute permission to just be myself now and always through unconditional love, mercy and compassion. So be it. Once you've uh, repeated the above, imagine that any invisible chains or shackles that have held you captive in any way are falling away from you. They might make a clunk as they hit the floor. You may feel freer than ever before. However strong or subtle your reaction to this is perfect for you at this time. Shake out your arms, your legs, your body, and once you're all shaken out, feeling perhaps a little bit silly, and hopefully in a playful way, you have completed your healing process. Oh, most gorgeous guidance. All right, love to hear your feedback on how this resonated with you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified of my videos coming out your feed. And take it easy, Aquarius. Take that time for self in March, yeah. Got lots of beautiful things that want to happen for you. Don't let others upset your apple cart. Uh, you're so much stronger than that. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.